Hello, here we are once again with Muki Tenenbaum. As you know already, probably, we are exploring through these videos his philosophy, his disillusionism, and in particular, the misalgic theory at the core of this philosophy, which is a theory that explains human behavior mainly as an aversion to suffering. Over the years now, month after month, we've been trying to illustrate these concepts with facts from everyday life, with very concrete matters sometimes. We've extensively discussed the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in the Ukraine. And in our very last video, we tackled the issue of artificial intelligence as it is developing today, as it's all over the news, I'm sure. And since then, something happened that prompted us to follow that video. We are not going to talk about artificial intelligence again, no worries. But we follow up that video with a discussion about the nature of our relationship with time, with history, with progress. Because ever since we recorded that video, all sorts of people and organizations have come forward trying to stop the development of artificial intelligence, trying to, as it were, pause time in its track and freeze in wherever situation we are now. So we are going to address that peculiar phenomenon and, of course, understand it from a disillusionist point of view. Well, uh, we are not going to talk about uh, AI. Uh, in fact, uh, this is uh, uh, two videos ago, uh, Florencio. Last video, okay. last, last video was on another matter, but I, I also keep it very present it's yeah. because it's it's everywhere the issue of AI. So we are not going to deal with AI, but we're going to we begin the story with AI. Uh, as you probably all know, at this point uh, there is a a, a movement um, which is spearheaded by. Uh, Elon Musk, um, um, Harari, uh, and, and others, who is trying to stop the development of AI on, on the, with the issue that this could end, could be the end of the world. Yeah. Basically, everybody is apocalyptic about it. They say this is going to destroy everything. It's going to destroy all the jobs, and it also going, then it's going to dominate the world because it will become a human being or whatever. I don't know what it's going to become. Suddenly, you know, your, your screwdriver is, uh, has, has intentions because that's what it is. Uh, and AI is only that, it's just mm. a tool, okay? Mm. Very fancy, very beautiful tool. It's like, you know, it's, uh, it, it's like a screwdriver, you know, of gold with, uh, that, that, can, that can run very fast and has several, uh, several speed to unscrew or screw, yes? Even come, some of them with the, its own, uh, their own uh, uh, screws. To screw. So, so it, it, we're talking about really a, a tool, but it has been, it, it has, it has created such um, a strong feelings that we have people who are uh, Musk, who, together with another thousand people, including Steve Wozniak, um, were were asking for a moratorium of six months. Then some people came and says, "No, no, we have to need a moratorium forever." And then somebody else came and says, "No, no, no, that's not enough. Let's dismantle what we have done today." This is, it, it's like legislating climate change. It's like saying, mm -hmm. okay, from now on, climate change is illegal. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, you know, uh, rain, it has to rain every May, three days in May, it, by law. Of course, th this is a force of nature. It, it, it's too late to put the, 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 tooth, the, tooth, the toothpaste back in, into, <laughs> the, into the container, yes? So it, 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 it's too late, it's finished, it's over. It's so interesting, Italy has just now forbid, forbid the access to ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And not only Italy, China has forbid it, Russia has forbid it, Iran has forbid it. You know, those countries I understand because they forbid yeah. everything. But in the case of Italy, in, under the name of privacy, whatever, the idea was they are afraid of it. And, and progress is, uh, is, is scary when it's uncontrolled. <laughs> you know, it's okay if uh, I, it's an iPad and the next iPad has a little bit more of colors and the next iPad may have a little bit of, of 3D. That's not a problem. But this is akin to, in my opinion, to the appearance of electricity. This is so important, AI. So 
what, what is behind all this? What, what are these people trying to do? They're not trying to stop progress. They are trying to control time. Mm. Mm. This is about controlling time. And controlling time, as we all know, doesn't work. Mm. Especially not when you're trying to control things the, 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 that the, the future, you, you try that the future, you know, to, to hold it with, um, uh, with restraints, yes? So mm -hmm. the future will not appear. So I can control it. I can decide how much future I want, what kind of future I want. I, I took the note when you mentioned that the fear, the scary part was uncontrolled progress. And now you say very explicitly, it's a matter of controlling time. Right, and uh, listening to you, uh, I go back to all the different verbs, all the different words we use. And I know it's just a trick in the language game, but it somehow reveals the way we think about time. Don't waste time, save time. I don't have time, I have plenty of time. As if it were a sort of commodity, as if it were some sort of material we can handle, uh, handle and store and give away. I, I think there's a very strong, deep illusion, speaking about this illusionism, when it comes to our relationship to time that reveals itself in, in this type of arguments. Well, the, the issue with uh, our relationship with time, uh, first of all, if you cannot beat them, so you ignore them. Mm. That, that's, that's about the whole idea with time. Let me explain. There is two kinds of times, and this is not my, my division. This is, was done by, by the Stoics in Greece. There is the chronos. That's the time that is measured in hours, minutes, and so forth. That means the, 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 the time as we, uh, the, the common time as we know it. Mm. And then there is the kairos, my own time. Take the, the moments. Um, the, 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 um, the occasions. So yeah. it's not hours, it's not minutes. Now, these two different way of counting has to do with, of course, I can, I can really uh, ignore my own time and thus stopping it. Mm -hmm. When I became uh, 65, one day, not the same day, but around that, I looked at the mirror and I found myself much older than the last time I was really observing the issue. And I, that was 15 years before that. Mm. So what happened? I really stopped time from the age of 50 to the age of 65. <laughs> Actually, that's what happens. Of course, once I arrived to 65, I see that I did not stop anything. Mm. But I did not endure time mm. because time, time you, you can, I, 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 the pass of time, you, it, it reminds you that you're going to get old, you're going to die. So, you endure the pass of time if you are if you're aware. But since you sleepwalk almost all the time, not even time is there. And then you, you use Kronos while you are sleepwalking. It's six o'clock, six thirty. I drink this pill. I do that. I meet that person. I wake up. The whole thing, it's inside my automatic system. Kairos is never. Kairos mm -hmm. is something you realize when you are awake. And mm -hmm. since you are not very much awake, and when you are awake, you're trying not to. <laughs> Not, not to suffer, because that, that's what the whole idea of misalgia, running away from suffering, averting it. Then what we do is we are successfully ignoring most of it, most of the pass of time. Now, when you want to control something, you, want, you, you need to count it. You, you need to first to, to put it in, 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 in quantities, in numbers. So that's, that's what Kronos is all about, yes? From parsecs to uh, or, or uh, light years, to uh, uh, the, the milliseconds uh, counted by, uh, by an atomic clock. We, that's what we do, we do it all the time, yes? Because you feel that you control if you can count it, but you can count many things and you still don't control. You can count the, uh, the galaxies and you still don't control them. That, that doesn't work, but it's the beginning. That's what they, they were trying to do. And the feeling is that you can control it. Please go ahead, Florencio, you were going to say something. No, 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 I'm just wondering, listening to you about this connection, this bridge between the illusion of controlling 
big chronologies, the illusion of controlling history and technological advancement and climate change, as you said in the beginning, and the illusion also of controlling my own time as I live through it, my, my aging, my, my moments of excitement that pass too quickly or the boredom that seems to never end. I think this, this bridge between the collective, the, the large and, and the tiny personal relationship to time, it's a very interesting one. Yes, because think, think about it when you have, uh, when you think in collective numbers, in, in collective mm -hmm. things, we talk only about chronos. We are not going to talk about the occasions of people who meet for a, for a meeting. That, that's not true. They will, it will be, it will be valued in timing, in chronos. Now, collective means illusions. Collective mm -hmm. means uh, God, the uh, religions, uh, the state, and even the family. And what these three have in common? The first, the most important thing, they help us feel eternal. Mm. They make us, they blur the limit mm. between our time and the old time. So if I'm worried what will happen in 2075, I'm really living up to 2075. Right? I mean, it's there. And if the religion tells me, don't worry, you know, your time is not your time. When you die, it continues. You will go from here to there to heaven, to down to go to this. To you reincarnate into a into a, a horse, a, 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 an ant, a, a microbe, a virus. I don't know what you reincarnate. And then everything will continue, and then you are, and you have memory to attest mm -hmm. to the past of time. So let's not forget our memory is 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 the is the witness of this mm -hmm. time time passing. So when I see that all, all the, when, when the state promised me that the whole uh, American um, state, uh, the whole, the United States, it's really uh, uh, built by all our forefathers and you are part of the builders and we, you will be remembered and you will be needed and you are needed. And that's the reason you should go and vote and, and, and do things uh, that of course are totally useless. So you feel collective. And when you feel collective, what, what you are really trying is to have some of its immortality or longevity mm -hmm. or, or huge longevity, the, the gap that it is between you and the illusions, yes, the state, for example, you can say, okay, it will not exist forever, but for a very long time, maybe I'll get, there will be a contagion. Maybe I will get that a little bit of that eternity into me. And, and then I become a little bit more eternal. This is, this is the play. This is why we are, we, we like to, to deal with, with the future. We like to, to the general future, not to your own, to, to the general future. That's reason number one. Of course, future is always because you had a past, yes? So you, uh -huh. you do this. You do mental time travel. We, 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 uh -huh. we heard that, that expression, yes? So you just go. But the truth is that you are still the same guy. I'm 67. And let's say I'm going to die 15 years. That's it. The, the clock is ticking. It doesn't matter what I, what I think, what I do, who I talk to and how much I deal with it. That's reason number one. Mm. Reason number two is that this is a distraction. When I am dealing with the big time, I don't deal with my time. When I deal, mine is not important. I am not important in the, of course, in a huge, a huge state, in, in the world made by God. Uh, yes, I, I'm not that important. Even in, even in my family, you know, at, at, in the long run, I am not going to be important. If I had, I don't know, 100 grandfathers and, and I will have 100 more generations, and what, what am I? Nothing. And yeah. that nothingness is distracting me for the only important things, the ones that I can really solve, or I, or I cannot solve, which is even worse, uh, uh -huh. and I can distract myself. <laughs> because the clock keeps ticking and we cannot stop it, we are almost out of time already. But I think we can just double click on this last matter because it's, I think, very close to the core of both disillusionism and misalgia. If I get it right, what you are saying is all this worrying and all this concern and the apocalyptic huge scale discussions like the advent of AI and its historical consequences and the time frame 
of climate change, all that serves at least a double purpose. It brings me close to the eternal sphere in which this stuff transpires and it distracts me from everyday life. It takes me away from, <laughs> as you said, the fact that I'm not getting any younger and the <laughs> prices are getting higher. And prices are getting higher. My, my brother-in-law has a price. The problem with me, my son will be, we, we cannot find a job. It doesn't matter. Or, or even my pain. My, 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 mm -hmm. my, my, I have a pain. I have to go to a doctor. I distract myself because I was in a doctor. And I need to think about the doctor. Every time you go to the doctor, besides dealing with the pain, I mean, uh, when you're talking about general health, why you go to the doctor? To postpone your death. You do a little bit of controlling of the time. Yeah. Look, look, yeah. I, and this is what they tell you. Oh, if you eat this, you live longer. If it is, <clears> you don't. <throat> ah, so you eat this, and you hear controlling time. Uh, the, the, what they're selling you is the mm. illusion that you can control time. And the answer mm. is no. Yes, you postpone this. Yeah. Okay, mm. that's it. You're not controlling anything. And, and again, you don't know if you can, if you really did postpone this, you never do. Okay, I, if somebody never smoke, he doesn't know that never smoking help him. If, if you smoke, sometimes you know that you get, you get the lung cancer. But if you don't smoke, you don't see the results. There are no mm -hmm. results. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that is a problem, you understand? This is where, this is where time is, a, is, is really not controllable. But it's so, it feels so good to be able to deal with big things instead of the small things. I, I think we even, we even went over this at some point. We don't say death was postponed. We say the life was saved. That's the way we express ourselves in this situation. Of course. Which of course, it's false. <laughs> and, and, but it speaks of eternity. If I save the life, that's it. He's never mm. going to die. No, no, I just saved him to die and he will die eventually too. Uh, he or she or them. <laughs> you can use the pronoun that you want. It always ends up in die. <laughs> so, uh, I, what I'm, I'm, this is not a video about we're going to die. I think we everybody knows about we're going to die. No. It's how we try to control things that are not controllable. Yeah. And, and we are not successful by doing it. But, but we spend our time wisely mm -hmm. instead of fighting with the, your brother-in-law or my brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, and diverting attention from the small individual facts, personal death included, to this huge scale I mean, I know the idea of an apocalypse is the idea of death, but it's so huge, it's so collective. It's not me dying, it's a cataclysm. And in this sense, there's nothing new, right? We are speaking about the dangers of artificial intelligence or climate change now, but our ancestors have always spoken about imminent apocalypse, imminent catastrophe, killing everyone at a world-destroying scale, not just individual death. But I see how that's part of the same trend you're describing. It, it even has a school, eschatology is called, the, the, no. the, the no. apocalyptical studies. Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course, there is always messiahs that come, you know, there is always, you know, a, a joker in the cards. Yeah. Ah, savior. The, but but the, the only joker is yourself. <laughs> but that, that is the problem. You are the joker. <laughs> and there are no other cards. <laughs> good, good. As it did this time, I think, I'm sure. I didn't mean, I didn't mean Florencia is the joker. I meant no, no, no. the other. You, you are. The evil. That's... And I was just starting to say goodbye because we are out of time already. But I'm sure we will come back to this subject and all the fuss that is being made around artificial intelligence in these days. It will come back to our future videos, I'm sure. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Unless we distract ourselves. No. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. See you next time. If you enjoyed the video, Please like it, comment and subscribe.